The ILO's findings suggest that by 2036, pensions will be depleted, potentially impacting pensioners' benefits. Senate will need to rely on investment returns to increase retiree benefits while also requiring workers to contribute more. The 2020 Auditor General's report, he noted, revealed that government owed Senate over 1.2 billion CDs. This was the principal at the time. When the Accountant General rather did the, uh, the 3% penalty, the money came to approximately 4.3 billion. So if in 2020, government and uh, to be specific controller is indebted to 4.4 billion Ghana cities by the Auditor General's report to Senate, why are we surprised that in 2021 the figure has ballooned to 9.6 billion according to the ILO's report? He expressed concern that the current state of affairs as Senate could potentially impact the benefits of retirees. Even if God gives you 80 years and you go on retirement at age 60 and you get up and you cannot get you cannot take care of your medication and other related matters, you will even beg God that God, please, let me go early. Kindly take the rest of the years and credit to somebody. The NAT General Secretary said organized labor will meet on the matter. The time to call for accountability on the Arsene thing and the time to take hold of it is now. And I repeat, the passion, the concern, and the vigilance with which we normally police our tier two, same must be used for the tier one, that is the Senate, so that what is happening now will not continue. And I will be surprised that with this particular revelation, we won't do anything.